Here he is now. Dr. Dr. Jones, I got a patient being prepped for surgery. So let's get this out of the way. Okay. Uh, Dr. Mays, this is the patient, Sonny Corinthos, and this is his wife, Carly. I only need to meet the patient. Thank you. You know what, doctor? If, if my case interferes with whatever you got going on, maybe we should just reconsider. I want to get your initial consult out of the way, and now is as good a time as any. So, Dr. Jones, thank you. I'll take it from here. I'd like to stick around for this first visit, actually. Uh, Mr. Corinthos is my brother-in-law. That makes us family. I'm not a family doctor. And Lucas, aren't you needed in the ER? I'm sure they'll page me if necessary. Yes, and I'm sure Dr. Ulbrecht will have something to say about you unnecessarily double-teaming me here. Your family can bring you up to speed when I'm done, or you could read the chart. I'm sure you're capable. Good night. Check in with you guys later. Yeah. <clears throat> Mr. Corinthos, Dr. Drake brought me up to speed on your condition. I understand you were shot by some rival crime lord. What does it matter who shot me? Yeah, the point is, Sonny has had some progress. He's had movement in his leg. That's encouraging. I'll need to examine Mr. Corinthos myself before I can say what is or isn't encouraging. OK, wait a second. You don't believe that movement and feeling are encouraging? I'll need to draw my own conclusions before making a prognosis. I'm sure you can understand. Now, if you don't mind, I would like to see the patient alone. You know what, doctor? I understand you're new, so you may not know how things work here. Hey, it's OK. It's no, okay. it's not OK for me. You don't get to tell me whether my wife can be at my exam. Sonny, may maybe you need to have a chance to get to know Dr. Mays without me getting Carly. Out. Please. There you go. See, she gets it. Well, here's what you need to get. I wouldn't be as far as I am right now if it wasn't for my wife. So if you don't want her around, I don't want you around. You understand, doctor? You know, I'm sorry to hear you say that, because I'm the only doctor on staff who can treat you. I'm used to having one-on-one -on -one relationships with my patients. That way, I can focus on the patient without having to field opinions and questions from their loved ones. Well, you're going to have to keep this loved one up to speed. If she has any questions or opinions, you got to respond to that. OK. Um, can I have a moment with my husband, please? Okay. It's OK. You know, I have to go to work. What do you mean? It's getting late. Yes, and it's my turn to do the end of the day reports. Please give Dr. Mays a chance. If Lucas says he's OK, then he, he probably is. Yeah, we'll see about that. Look at me. I mean, look. Look at me. I want you to concentrate on getting better. I need to. I'll see you at home, okay? I assure you this is for the best. I have a tried and true method of working, so what do you say we get started? I'm going to save us both a lot of wasted time. Just end this before it starts. Mr. Corinthos, I don't want to be blunt. <laughs> Why stop now? <laughs> but I am one of the best in this field. Yeah. Dr. Drake personally requested that I take over your case. Well, you know what? I'm sure that he meant well, but the way you treat people, I don't want you anywhere near me. Now, you said you had a patient waiting. Get the hell out of here, doctor. But who's going to treat you? Anybody but you. Your loss. <laughs> How's it going? Ask your brother-in-law. 